Hi, I'm Twee Bircher, and welcome to this week's episode of Campus Update. We have no time to waste, so let's dive right in. Our sports teams are taking a swift lead on the field, or rather in the pool. We checked out this year's varsity water polo team to get the details on their current season. I've been, uh, I started swimming when I was around three years old, and then I picked up water polo when I was about eight. I've been playing ever since. This season has been really good for me because it's my first year on varsity. So I think it's, I, I'm having a lot of fun, a lot of work, so it's been great. My favorite part about playing water polo would be like the intensity and how we have to play as a team. It makes me more social, I would say. Naturally, our biggest rivalry is uh, Newport Harbor. As far as this season goes, I would say Modern Day and Harbor Westlake, two uh, private schools that have been uh, kind of changing off titles the past five or six years. They're a very good team. They're very intelligent. So we're just working hard to try and take them down. We're trying to be the first public school to break through and win since 2009. We have a very, very good team this year, and we are definitely top three that are going to win CIF yeah, for sure. Come out and support HB Water Polo later this month against Orange Lutheran. Be sure to support the water polo team at their next game. Just across campus, down the hall, and around the corner from the pool stands a hard-working, dynamic man that has a lot of groundbreaking ideas on public education. His name, Mr. Floyd, the assistant principal of Huntington Beach High School. Now let's turn the spotlight over to him to hear what he has to say. Do what makes you happy. You know, I think a lot of seniors feel pressure from outside forces, from the job world, from parents, from wherever. Today in 2016 and going forward is the first step. I think, you know, some of the stuff that's taught in school today is the same stuff that's been taught for over 100 years. And we're, and we're in a a time right now where um, some changes probably need to be made to update certain things so that we're giving kids the skills that they need to survive in the world today. Go to a school where you're going to fit in, major in something that interests you. As a former teacher, I always appreciated you know, getting those tips and those new strategies from other teachers. And so in my role now, I really think the most important thing I can do is just support the teachers, allow them to take risks, do things that take them out of their comfort zone because I think real learning takes place when you take people out of their comfort zones and you take risks. So whether it's teachers or students, I think just pushing boundaries and trying new things. Life will be a lot better if you're doing something that you're happy with. So my advice to seniors is just follow your instincts and do what you want to do and don't be afraid to try something and if it doesn't work out, move on to something else. I think education is probably the most important thing that we all get in life because it sets the stage for how we are as an adult. While school may not be everyone's thing, I think every student, the motivated students, the unmotivated students, can find something that helps them grow, helps them learn, and it develops who they are as a person by engaging in just the learning process. Walking is such an easy task to do, but it turns out that it might be harder than it seems. When the bell rings and the students are dismissed, the hallways turn into a tunnel of chaos and disorder. So we here at Campus Update have come up with a few easy ways to solve the problem. Here's Levi with a short instructional video on hallway etiquette. Most of you are probably aware that we here at HBHS have a tendency to create traffic in our hallways during passing period. Here are some tips to help you get to your classes more efficiently. Doors can be quite a hazard for your face. Be cautious when opening any doors so people can keep their beautiful faces. Don't litter in the hallways. It's gross and disrespectful for us in our halls. Instead of littering on the fine polished floor, litter in the trash can. Traveling the halls can escalate into an absolute disaster. When traveling the halls, try to give out turn signals as you go. Be considerate when going to your classes so it can remain classy. Thank you, Levi, for reporting on such a pressing issue. The wide variety of clubs and activities at our school makes it so easy for students to find their niche. This week, we would like to showcase a music club, a place for students to expand their musical horizons. Here are more details. A music so, club. We listen to a bunch of different genres, and we like ask people for like different genres that they might be interested in, and we like take those into consideration. And like each week, we kind of like pick a specific genre or like a specific um, type of music we want to listen to, and we'll do like a little bit of like a lesson on it, and so people kind of like understand what it's about in case they like don't know about that genre. We hope to have open mic nights throughout the year to raise money for sort of underprivileged music programs to give student kids who can't afford music lessons scholarships so that they can enrich their lives through music. 
And we hope to have one by the end of this month. And if we have more people in our club, then it's more likely we can have more open mic nights. I think by the end of the club, I think people should take away, like hopefully they've learned more about music and what kind of genres there are. And now their music horizons are more broadened and now they know more about just music in general. Music Club came as an idea because Claudia and I like were thinking about like MMET and how a lot of kids have different music styles. And we were trying to think of another way that we could have people get together and like show them besides just like MMET where we're kind of given a show and like we had to like play songs from that and everything. I'd also really like for people to like maybe if they want to start music but they haven't figured out how like I would like them to be like oh hey there's all these musicians in the club like maybe I could talk to one of them and have them teach me and so just to inspire more people to have music in their life. The most important thing about Music Club is that it allows a safe place for students to bring together their different musical interests and try to express them to like other students and everything and then through that people get to learn about different music genres and then maybe find something that they didn't know about and then start liking that too. So yeah, come join music. We meet every Friday in room A3, which is Ms. Harshman's room. It's a good time. That sounds like a great deal of fun. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. He's tall, he's handsome, and he's got great hair. He's Mike Lombardo, and he's here with another episode of Pop Talk. Do you have any pregame rituals for football? Uh, every single day, I go to bed after midnight, game before. It's kind of a tradition. Okay, I always have my little foam snake. That's incredible. How do you pick out your outfit in the morning? Um, Based on the weather. I uh, sleep with my clothes on. So I wake up, and uh, I go on Instagram and look up Michael Lombardo, and uh, I see vintage. So I go in my closet and find what's not vintage, and then I put it on. What do your friends say is your best quality? My pterodactyl noise. Ah! My comedy. What is your favorite quote of all time? My favorite quote of all time is, uh, Just Do It by Nike. If you shoot a duck, I'm afraid of toasters. Wait, wait, what is this? What are you known for? Uh... Take a guess. My chair. Uh, I can run like Sonic. John Cena or Hulk Hogan? John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> John Cena. John Cena, obviously, because you can't see me. Hulk Hogan! John Cena or Hulk Hogan? Ben Affleck. That was astonishing, Mike. The student body here never ceases to impress me. That's all we have for you this week in Campus Update. I'm Twee Bircher signing off, and as Pipple would say, Dale.